On a personal note, this week actually brought a whole lot of good news because it marked 15 years since this haircut was born. That's right, it was the 15th anniversary of The Office, and for more on that story, we go now to our entertainment correspondent, Steve Carell. Steve! Is this working? <laughs> Thank God for Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just saw Nancy, like your mom, be like, hold on, let me just... Let me just... <laughs> Welcome like to this highly produced show. I like your sign. Thank you very much. My daughters did it, by the way, so... Beautiful. This will be the graphic at the bottom of this. Of Perfect. I love it. How are you, man? I'm well, are you, well, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. This is what happens when I self-isolate. <laughs> <laughs> We're both looking dapper. This is how I am 24-7. I admire the fact that you are dressing up like this every day. They say that's one thing that you should do. You should always, you know, in these days of isolation, we should be, True. you know, showering and taking care of ourselves and exercising <laughs> and wear, wearing suits. And doing uh, right great shows. Um, I guarantee you that the bottom half of what you have on does not match the top. <laughs> I am definitely wearing jams, if anybody remembers. <laughs> if anybody remembers what those are. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, so Steve, this week marked a huge anniversary for you and I. Um, we were on a little show called The Office and it turned 15 years old yep. this week. I mean, I was a waiter when I got that job. I was 23 years old. I was a waiter. And after the pilot, I went back to waiting tables because I was sure nothing was going to happen with it. <laughs> and, uh, and we all kind of came into it with that vibe. I remember none of us had done anything huge. Um, we were in this sort of, it felt like we were in a rep company. Like we were just doing theater every week with the same people, different um, shows. And I also remember the crew was unreal. I am so ridiculously spoiled in every job I've gone to since because I, I you know, that's the only downside for me is that I was shown how good it really can be yeah. on the first go around. In a good way, it sets the bar really high. Totally. That, that we want it to be. Um, at least in certain ways, equal to that. I don't know if it ever will be, but right. uh, yeah. I, but yeah, I mean, I, for me, it was, my, it was my film school, theater school, everything all at once. Um, people ask me now, how the hell did you become a director? Still don't know, still answering that question for myself. But the office for me was film school, which I don't think a lot of people know, is that door in the office that never opened in any of the episodes. The reason why it never opened is because that was the writer's room. And I'll never forget in those first episodes, whether it was Diversity Day or, or you know, any of the first few of oh, the pilot as well, but you'd have six to 10 people burst out of that door like a clown car after you did the take and be like, that was amazing. Keep that line, do this other thing. Now we'll reverse these. Now you say that line and oh my God, we're so lucky. And then like go back into the room. And I remember just thinking, is this what the creative process is all about? Yeah. And it, it was everything. It was everything and, and just such a, a special moment. I just love that people are celebrating 15 years because for me, uh, I will celebrate that forever. I mean, people always ask this question, so I have to ask you, do you have, a, not one, obviously, but in your top memories, what were some of your favorite memories? All of our exchange around the, the micro flat screen TV. I finally broke down and bought myself a plasma TV. <laughs> Check it out. The yeah. episode dinner party where you said, and when people come over, you just, d and it only moved that far? I don't yeah. think I've ever worked harder the in my life. The articulating screen. Check this out. Folds. Sorry. Oh my God. I think most of the memories have to do with things that we shared as a cast you know when we were, we were doing fun run and it was about 105 degrees outside and everybody was just dying i mean it was really it was it, it was a hot terrible day yeah. outside fettuccine alfredo time to carbo load i remember when you when you did the episode where you played Santa and were very upset that Phyllis was already Santa. 
And so you were asking people to come sit on your lap and Brian, thank God, was chosen to sit on your lap. That's the other time in my life I don't think I've laughed harder when he sits down and you say, what would you like? And your air goes out and you went, what would you like? Just, and I'll never forget you saying, well, just say toys, just say toys. What would you like for Christmas, little boy? I don't know. I, I didn't know you were going to ask me that. Well, what did you think was going to happen? I didn't know. <sighs> Nobody's ever let me sit on their lap before. All right, just say some toys, please. <laughs> I was supposed to be the button of the, uh, the scene where they cut to me and I did a gym face. I was never there. I was physically never there. But because by the time they got to the swish pan to me, I was out. I was either on the floor or I had left the room. Part of what was so much fun about it is that everybody in the cast was rooting for everybody else. People would step back when it was time for other people to shine and celebrate it. Like, like when, you, when you came in as Dwight that day, it was like, it was crazy watching Jim do Dwight. And uh, you're a very good impressionist in general. I Thank don't think you. it's something people know. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! And then also at the same time, the most emotional I've ever been on a set, certainly. And I know we've talked about it, but I was sort of hoping that they wouldn't do your scene and my scene, the, the episode where you leave last. I think you and I counted, I think it was either 17 or 19 takes where there wasn't an audible word that came out. It was just, it was just action. And then you and I going, oh! I think we should just say the goodbyes for tomorrow at lunch. Oh. Okay. And then tomorrow, I can tell you <clears throat> what a great boss you turned out to be. Best boss I ever had. That was a you hard know. one. That was really, that, yeah. was, that was tough. That, that was, was brutal. But it was, again, to everything you were saying, it was that idea of family. You were literally you were leaving summer camp, you were leaving home, you were leaving all these things all at the same time and those massive emotions of knowing that this would be the end of something that was, uh, you know, uh, sort of a monolith in ways uh, in your life. Some of my most fond memories, uh, personally or professionally, are entwined and connected with that Without show. A doubt. It wasn't even at the end. I think we were like five or six seasons in, and I remember you saying to the cast, you said, guys, no matter what we go on to do, we will always be known for this show. Whether you're, Even if you win an Oscar or do something crazy like that, you'll, you'll always be remembered for this show. And what an honor that is. People come up to me all the time and say, you know, you'll always be Jim. And I went, thank God for that. Yeah, yeah. There's really no downside to it at all. It's, it's great. I mean, what a, if, if this is what we are all remembered for, which probably will be the case. What a great thing to be remembered for. It's pretty, no. yeah, I'm, it's, I'm honored as well. And listen, I know everybody's talking about a reunion. Hopefully one day we just get to reunite as people and just all get to say hi. I, I mean, Just to see your face <laughs> is so great. I miss you a ton, man. It's so good to see you. And thank you so much for doing this. We are uh, trying to start a news network just for good news. And, and boy, are you good news. You make me smile, that's for sure. Um, next time we do this, I will put on, I'm going to put on a suit. And I'm going to do, and, and it's going to be a little more in character, right? Yeah. Great. And I'm going to be, you know, I will be your special correspondent, whatever you want me to, to cover from the uh, greater Los Angeles area, you got it. <laughs> there it is, you're our local Los Angelian correspondent. Today you're our entertainment correspondent, but who knows, the sky's the limit for you. I really think you're gonna make something of yourself, Steve. <laughs> I love you and I can't wait to see you very soon. Say hi to Emily, love you guys. Who's that? Goodbye. Go!